Hello guys, my name is Kiki and let's jump into today's project. Happy holidays my beautiful snowflakes! Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a beautiful dupe for something that I saw at Pottery Barn and as you can see I'm adding shims to a frame just using hot glue. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add them together just going to the thinner side to the thicker side just invert them you put the thicker side on one side and the thinner side on the other while you cover all of your frame like I'm doing here now after we finish we're gonna let that glue set and then I'm gonna come back with some Waverly white chalk paint and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dunk a little bit of that paint over there and I'm gonna paint it completely using that paint and I remembered after I was painting that I should have removed my glue strings <laughs> happens all the time let me know in the comments below if that happens to you too <laughs> now I'm adding a little bit more paint and I'm gonna cover this completely just one coat of that white paint let it dry really nicely and move on to cutting your dowels you're gonna have one complete dowel some pieces and two dowels cut in half in a 22.2 degree angle in the description below i'm gonna leave you the measurements so you can have a beautiful snowflake art too now i'm using my waverly antique wax and i'm gonna stain all of them using that and i love this because this doesn't smell and actually i think it smells really nice <laughs> yeah that's me just smelling my paint <laughs> now I'm painting the smaller dowels that I cut in an inch size and now I'm gonna add the center dowel for that I'm using hot glue and I'm gonna glue it in the middle like this then I'm gonna take my 22 degree dowels and I'm gonna glue them on the sides like you see me doing here we're making some sort of a deer <laughs> but we are not going there and you know that I want to make a snowflake to celebrate my beautiful snowflakes each and every single one of you I wanted to add something that remind me of all of you this holiday season because you know I love you guys now I'm adding my smaller pieces of my snowflake I don't know how those are called <laughs> but I'm adding those smaller pieces like that with a little bit of hot glue just be careful because we are dealing with hot glue and I have burnt myself a couple of times <laughs> more than I can count <laughs> but we're gonna continue gluing those until we finish and we will have two of those sets on each dowel then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna add another dowel cut in half this one will be in 90 degree angle in the middle because as you can see it's looking a little bit bare on that middle and we have to fill that out so I'm adding that dowel in the middle like that and then I'm gonna add those same pieces of dowel to those longer pieces of dowel and as you can see I'm adding them like that and we will have a beautiful the most beautiful snowflake art really rustic kind of snowflake and I love 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 this and this is how our beautiful snowflake wall art turned out and look at that it's looking so 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 pretty this is part of the Christmas Crafting with Friends collab, a collab that I put together with a couple of my wonderful friends over here on YouTube to celebrate you, our YouTube families. In the description box down below you are going to find a link to the playlist so you can go and check it out and see a video of each and every single one of the creators that you can see here. Go and check it out, I know you're going to love it and I know you're going to find awesome things over there. Have you seen my Christmas Friend Friday Hop video? Well, after you finish here, go and check it out because over there you're gonna find lots of awesome, awesome creators and there's a wonderful giveaway. So after you finish here, go there. Now I wanna make a beautiful ornament for my Christmas tree because as you know, I don't have enough ornaments this year, yeah. 
we are struggling over here. <laughs> but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this star from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use my Waverly Antique Wax and we're going to cover this star by painting it with that antique wax and after I cover everything I'm going to bring a piece of paper towel and I'm going to clean that stain a little bit to make it a little bit lighter like this and look at that that wood grain is looking beautiful I painted the back and the sides and now I'm just writing here all is bright because it's a star and that would look cute now I'm taking apple barrel in snow white and my paintbrush and I know some of you have told me that you don't have the skills but believe me I don't have them either <laughs> just take your time and draw your letters first with a pencil until you're happy with them and then come back with your paint and I can assure you, you're gonna love that sign. It's beautiful when you have a sign that you have your own words or letters in it. I just think handwriting is the best way to go on a sign. And as you can see, I'm just writing my all is bright and I'm taking the time in the world because this is sped up like a lot and as you can see I'm going really slow so I take my time this is not a skill that I have this is just something that I've been practicing a lot <laughs> and as you will see I forgot that bright has an H and I tried to make an R <laughs> so I'm gonna correct that by making that R into an H I wanted to show you that because sometimes we have happy accidents on our crafts and most of the time we can solve those issues so you just put on your happy face embrace that happy accident and make it work and now I added those exclamation marks and now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring this ribbon that I got at Walmart and I'm gonna make a bow and you know I'm not good making bows but I'm trying <laughs> and I made that but without hot glue that's an achievement <laughs> and I'm using a little bit of twine in the middle to tie it really tight together like this and then we are gonna do what I love doing the most fluffing <laughs> And after we fluff that, we're gonna cut the excess twine. We're gonna take a little bit more of that ribbon. We're gonna do dovetails on those legs. And then we're gonna measure it and they are too long. <laughs> but first I'm gonna grab this greenery from Walmart and I'm gonna add that piece because if I add those two, it won't look so cute. So I'm gonna remove those bigger leaves and I'm gonna use the pine ones with my bow and my legs that I will cut a little bit more. <laughs> And then I'm gonna bring back my twine, put it into that hole, tie it again to make it an ornament, and then I'm gonna come back with my hot glue gun, and I'm gonna glue the pine greenery to the star, and then I'm gonna add my legs from my bow, and I'm tying them together with a little bit of twine, just to make it stay where I want them and have a piece to hold them to my sign. Then I'm gonna glue them to the pine and then I'm gonna glue my bow and after I glue my bow, I'm gonna take some berries and put them on top. And that's it. And this is how our beautiful All is Bright ornament turned out. I love it, it's so cute and it looks beautiful on my Christmas tree. Look at that. And this is how both of them look. I just want to take this opportunity to thank you, our subscribers, for being here and being with us all of this year. I know this has been a hard year for all of us, but we just wanted to make this to celebrate all of you and to thank you for being a part of our families. That means the world to us, believe me. And I just want to thank my friends that joined me for this collaboration because they are just awesome. And if you haven't checked them out, believe me, go right 
over there so you can see them. I know you're going to love them and I know you're going to love their content. And I just wanted to wish you happy holidays and I hope you have a wonderful time with your family creating memories. And remember that if you like it, hit the thumbs up. If you love it, subscribe so you can keep on watching these type of videos. Take care. Bye-bye. Happy holidays.